black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah.
Well, 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 what up y'all? Bit of a different one today. I don't have like a mic or, you know, we're in a different setting, but I just have my phone on a little tripod here. We're out at my parents' house on the lake. I could show you that. Literally looking at trees and a lake and a deck and a lot more pens and pencils than anybody should have. But my dad loves to do crosswords and jumbles in the paper. Shout out jumbles. I love jumbles as well. Okay, so what did we make? on the lake what did we make on the lake a fire ass a casadilla okay chicken casadilla by the way nice and toasty roasty golden brown i got myself an icy cup diet pepsi it's my dad's favorite so we must pour up one for my dad who's not here right now hence why i'm able to even do this video because i'm off radar you know what i mean he doesn't, he's not privy. He might be a little privy to the Chan Chan, but he's not completely privy. It's not over poor here. Yeah, he's not completely privy. I am super excited to get into this. I hope you guys enjoyed the cooking segment of it all because I did myself. I really enjoyed it. It's what I want for my future and of this channel. I want the natural light. And I want to be able to chef up delights unbothered for y'all and for myself. Definitely for myself. And just really like, you know, just cook it up. So, so I mashed up the sour cream and salsa, a little remix action. Because let's be honest, they're both going to join the party in a rather orgiac fashion if you will they must combine a flavor party in my mouth so i'm like i'm very excited for this search it closer mm. come on look at how perfect that crisp is of that crust. Mm. And everything is just working overtime right now on this. You got the chicken in the cooking segment. I don't know if you saw there, but I took a a dried and aged European like pepperette. And finally chopped that. I just figured like it's almost like chicken bacon but not chicken sausage. Like an aged pepperette. Cured meat. Gives it that nice salty like lightly funky almost little vibe the cheddar cheese Havarti nice and creamy and of course the peppers and the green onions and these tomatoes just explode Flavor Pop Central, baby. So I'm saying, get your hands on one of these. Super good. But yeah, spending a few days out at the uh, the Fam Jamly area, visiting the parents has its perks. And that, my friends, is called cooking in the kitchen in natural light and tapping their food resources. But they're cool with it. They love me. Oh yeah, there's mushrooms in here too. I have no idea exactly how good this is right now. Mm -hmm. 
was stupid. So yeah, where I'm at right now, this used to be my summer homes sort of deal. Camp, we called it. Um, and then we, when we grew up and everything, my parents just sold the house in town and they live out here now. They were tired. So camp has become the home. But a lot of memories out here. Some of my first makeout parties. First time doing mushrooms. Did mushrooms out here a couple times. A lot of parties. A lot of trying to sneak into the older kids' parties. My sisters are uh, three and five years older than me. So I was always, me and my friends were always trying to get into their parties. If I'm being honest with you, that time in my life felt very like American pie. Just those kind of parties. I felt like Stifler's little brother a lot of time. Those were good ass times. Back when life was <clears throat> so simple. The only thing that mattered Was hanging out with your friends and having fun. None of this adult stress bullshit. That's the, trying, that's the life I'm trying to get to. It's like, I just want to play, man. And I mean, have a career where it's like, I feel like I'm playing. You know, do what you love, you won't work a day in your life. That vibe. Cooking for YouTube, making music. Being artistic. You know, that's a life to strive for. None of this. Working for other people, doing shit you hate. Building other people's dreams. Nah, it's not for me. Sometimes you have to do it. but also be hustling, chasing, and achieving, and building on your own shit. Because we all got bills to pay. So. You do have to work doing stuff you don't like sometimes. What you do with the other eight hours when you get home, it's completely up to you. That is hard though when you have kids and stuff. Or a relationship to manage. 
very hard to chase dreams in a relationship. Unless your partner's hustling too and, you're bo and you both get it. But if one of you isn't, they're going to feel, you know, ignored, unwanted, unappreciated, things like that. Well, that was incredibly delicious, incredibly satisfying. I urge you to make something similar if you got it in the fridge, because my lord, that hit me right in the palate spot, that tastes good. So, until the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true.